Okay, I, you know, last but not least um, on my list is um, a woman who's one of my sheroes, and uh, will just, you know, she's always asking what she can do to help in some set of stuff. She would do some set of stuff. And she has agreed to serve as the um, editor-in-chief for an entire U.S. NGO country report. Now, that, that's a job. And uh, Jane pa uh, Bernard Powers, and it's sometimes hard to get the whole name out there, and so sometimes I just call her Jane VP, and then no, that's, you know, British Petroleum. So. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she is uh, president uh, of Women in Democratic Action, and which is what we need today. Jane, do you want to say a few words? Yes. First of all, that was a tough act to follow, so I, you know, I don't know what to say. It's a tough act and with an introduction like that, but I'm pleased to be here. Um, I didn't know Bella. I saw Bella in 1985 in Nairobi. Um, I was one of the people in a hotel whose belongings were removed from the rooms uh, unceremoniously, deposited outside, and Bella was at that meeting, and uh, that's where I, at the time, I thought, well, I'm certainly not going to say anything. Uh, social studies teacher, graduate student, uh, trying to find voice, and, um, and she spoke up. She didn't change it, but she used her voice. Which is, it, it, there's a lesson in all of this um, as a, I was representing the National Council for Social Studies at that time. I stayed with the, could we please give women voice? Could we please change history? Can we work on curriculum? It's, that work is still to be done. But the using your voice, and I'm 73, and I'm still getting my voice. Um, I'm better at it. Sometimes I do stand up, you know, for myself and friends. Um, and the, um, the model of a woman who I didn't know but who used her voice in a way as a Midwestern, I thought, how do you do that? Uh, and that, the answer was, really well and when it's necessary. And so that's uh, how Bella used her voice. Uh, it is, I feel like a little kid uh, looking over there at somebody who's a, a model, uh, a shiro, a heroine, who made a great difference in, I think, uh, for my generation. Um, and I think that legacy is with us. So much work to be done with CEDAW, so much work with using the voice, and it's so great to be in a room with people who use their voice uh, and have really good uh, ideas behind it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. First of all, I want to say how moved I am by all of you. What a life, what a legacy, what energy to be able to catalyze, inspire, and move so many people in so many generations. Um, Liz was a warrior uh, with me on the front lines for abortion rights. Uh, I first saw her when she was giving a speech uh, in one of the hotels in New York, I think it was with HIP, and she was speaking about peace and uh, war. And I walked in the room and everybody was on their feet, cheering, and she was full-throated and we will have no war, we can have no war. And I was so inspired, and I said, my God, here is a woman who lives in my time that really can move me, as opposed to Joan of Arc or Elizabeth <laughs> No, no, seriously, which when I was growing up in Philadelphia were really the only great heroines of great power and vision and movement that I could connect to but then came Bella. <laughs> so we worked together on many uh, abortion rights campaign, and uh, I have a memory, uh, a very, very sweet, dear memory of um, in Bryan Park when I organized one of the big speeches on uh, January 22nd, Roe v. Wade, anniversary of Roe v. Wade, and I gave a full-throated, passionate, very strong, very moving speech, and she was standing behind me and I walked back because she was going to speak next and she looked at me and went, that was good kid. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Sibella is my political mother. And what we're talking about here is she's a mother to all of us. The maternal in all of us, myriad, myriad configurations. So uh, I love her dearly and she's with me always and I thank all of you for all the great work that you're doing. Yeah. Thank you, Mara. To put you on the spot too, let me know how good you are at this, sister. 
Uh, I'd like to acknowledge and just say, Babza, would you like to say a few words to all the uh, friends of ours? Well, you definitely did put it on the spot. <laughs> I'm really shocked, but, but honored. Um, I'm, our mother was a great, great woman. And she was way ahead of her time in every way imaginable. And, um, her, leg her legacy lives in me and will always. And all the work that I've ever done in my life in uh, public adv advocacy and fighting for those who don't have a voice is because of who my parents were and what they taught me. And um, I'm really speechless. Uh, I'm very moved by all the work that all of you do. I think it's phenomenal. Um, and I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, sister. Thank you, sister.